friends. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Welcome to our second annual Black Friday extravaganza. We will be walking through the best deals of the year today. If you're building a home gym or just want to add more craft to your garage like me, then you want to stick around. We're going to be talking through the best deals. We have a lot of exclusive deals, just like we've done in the other video. Also, we want to walk through the facility. There is a lot that has been done in this facility. I'm telling you, it would probably blow you away. It blows me away every time I walk in here. The amount of garage sets we have, the amount of equipment we have, the amount of organization we now have, um, it is a beautiful thing. We're also gonna be answering your questions, so if you have questions throughout the video, you can post them, we'll save them, the best ones, only the best ones. So if it's not a good question, we're not gonna answer it. No, just kidding, if it's a bad one, we may answer it. But if you would like us to make sure we see your question, also there's a feature where you can pay to ask a question if you'd like to do that, I wouldn't mind it. Also, I wanna say from the beginning, if you would like to find the best deals, the best deals that we have listed basically by how good the deal is, is on the site. We have people working around the clock. They were taking their Thanksgiving dinner at their computers. We are so thankful for you, editorial team. Um, if you'd like to see that, you can check the link below the like button. You'll be able to see all those deals. Um, also, we have a bunch of people behind the scenes. You see me all the time, but we have a lot of people behind the camera that are working right now. Sam, can you shoot to you guys right now just to shout you guys out so we can see all your beautiful faces? Go ahead and flex for them. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Come back to me. They're tired of you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we're going to do a walkthrough through the facility. I'm going to talk about deals and we're going to answer your questions. But in, I did this last year too, in the um, air of Thanksgiving, I want to say I'm thankful for you. I am very thankful that we have so many people that are building their gyms and a part of our community. GGR, our basically existence is to inform, inspire, and basically bring the home gym community together. And so I feel like we're able to do that and this is a fun way that we can do that. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what the facility looked like last year with a brief video before I walk you through all of the equipment, all the updates and everything we've done and then we'll get to the best deals. Sam, roll that beautiful B-roll footage. <laughs> Okay, welcome to the GGRHQ where all of your dreams happen. As you can see, what we want everybody to see immediately when they come in is what we built our name on, and that is beautiful knurling. Yes, every time I walk in, I kiss these. Hopefully nobody kissed that last time, that would be weird. Okay, we'll walk in. This is kind of our staging area. That we actually have people that work here, not just lift. Uh, and so we have some office desks. We have offices. This is one thing that we are working on and wanting to use more often. Maybe you can let us know in the comments how we could use it more efficiently. We have pretty much an upright from every company, every manufacturer. So a lot of companies will say, for instance, that they're three by three. A lot of times they're 75 millimeter by 75 millimeter. A lot of times their hole spacing is different than what you'd expect. So if you're looking for an attachment, this is one way where we do fitment tests to determine if what they say online actually matters or if say something from one company works with another company because a lot of this stuff is open source. So as you can see, we have from just about every upright company here. If you come back over here, a new thing we're working on are cold tubs. So we have a bunch of cold tubs. Actually shout out to Lindsay on our other channel, Garage Gym Reviews Everything. If you'd like to subscribe to that, you can check out that link below the like button as well where we have a subscribe link where you can see that channel where she goes through in depth on all of these but also on a ton of cardio equipment and more in the future. So shout out Lindsay. Then we've got a bunch of just, we're trying to reuse this space. We're not sure we're gonna use, use it for yet, but we did do a lot of smart home gym tech. It seems like smart home gym tech is kind of on the downward trend. If you agree, let me know in the comments or if you think it's gonna pop out, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Then coming over here, as you can see, we've got some massive saunas. Again, very similar to what we're doing with the cold tubs. You can't really have cold tubs without saunas. Contrast baths are so nice. Um, these are massive. And so we've got a bunch of these and more coming in where we want to break down just like we do with gym equipment. 
We want to do the same thing for recovery. And there is a lot of variances between what you see online and what is in person with these. So let me, let me know in the comments if there's a specific model you'd like to see or what you'd like to see us actually break down when we do the best of roundup for that video. Same thing with cold tubs. Okay, one thing I do want to show, this is our conference room where we delegate because we're awesome. One thing I want to shout out, this is a three by three upright, true three by three with one inch holes. Why? <laughs> because we just had to do it. A couple other things, we have a $50 bench and a $6,000 bench. <laughs> it's funny, you can do the same thing on both, but this is a company no longer here. Another thing, these are more barbells. We're trying to fit more and more barbells wherever we can fit them. Here's some, but these barbells, you may remember this, that is a 3,000, we basically lifted 3,000 pounds. That was the cheap bar, that was the Aleco at the top. Same amount of weight for each. So if you're like, a barbell is a barbell, weight is weight. No, it's not. That proves it. Then let's come into the gym. Okay, I don't remember necessarily what it looked like last year. I watched the video, but there's just been so much that changed. I'll start with our garages. So we have two garage sets here, two two-car garage sets. The idea is when we do videos, like I want it to feel like what you guys are using. I want to experience the, the facility the way you're experiencing it. So a big warehouse is not how you guys are training. It's not how I train. I train in my two-car garage or three-car garage now too. So being able to set our equipment up, put it on walls, everything like that, and review it in there is really important. And yes, they also have garage doors. Let's come over here. This is our podcast studio. We don't have a podcast yet. Maybe if you'd like to see a GGR podcast, let us know in the comments. Who would you like to see this interview? It's not on the plans currently, but we use this for like reactions and all sorts of other type of videos that we do. It's a very beautiful set. And you may see this is a repurposed pallet wall that Sam built and then attached to the ceiling. Um, OSHA, we're sorry, but uh, <laughs> this is a very sweet addition and lights it up really well. But those pallets are from gym equipment shipments. <laughs> then in here, this is another two car garage. Uh, a couple of things, there's constantly stuff coming in and out. Right now we're getting ready to do a review on PRX stuff, so we just put this stuff up here, we're gonna do a new rack here. Um, also, we have a, we, uh, PRX is having a big sale right now too. I see these uprights, so if you'd like a fold down rack, that's one that's happening. We'll talk more about those in a little bit. This is the Nike rack. We have some reviews on Nike coming up. Nike, man, there are so many, I see the comments all the time, people either love or hate this stuff. Uh, I'll, you'll just have to wait for my video. If you'd like to see the video on Nike stuff, let me know in the comments, but make sure you're subscribed because they're coming. I'm just trying to determine which one we're gonna do first. I will say their stuff is kind of good at times and kind of really sucks at other times. You'll just have to figure out which ones are not good. Then we have treadmills. We have so many treadmills. Treadmills are a lot like TVs. I've realized this, where there'll be a treadmill that's a lot like another treadmill, but they'll name it something else and sell it through an exclusive manufacturer. So having like actual honest reviews is super important for this category. And I would say about more than just about any other. So we have basically brought in a lot of them and are comparing all of them. Uh, very important category and one that we're spending a lot of time on. And as you can see, we have a lot of them. Then this is where we're shooting the video right now. This is where we shoot most of our videos. It's kind of designed after my personal garage with the lights and background. Um, it's a beautiful thing. Through it's here. A beautiful thing. Thank you, Sam. Don't kiss me. Okay. <laughs> then you're like, but wait, there's more. We have more garage sets. So these are kind of like one garage sets. Uh, we have the two two car garage and then we have three one car garage sets. So here's this one right here. There's another one right here. One thing you'll notice is we're putting in new flooring. Something we do is we actually test flooring. Uh, so we'll replace flooring um, so we can test it. But I think this is gonna annoy some people. I came in and I noticed, what is on the ground? Why are those on the ground? They're using my Aleco plates and my Usaka plates to hold down the flooring. Ridiculous. And then here's another one where you can see the flooring is currently being taken up and new flooring going in. Also, as you can see, we were running out of space for a while. Uh, we actually have a, can I go out to the outside? I don't know. 
Okay, well, we have a shipping container that is massive. I just don't know if this will, the re will actually reach um, where we have started to store equipment because we've ran out of space in here, and it is a massive shipping container. It got so bad that Sam started hanging things from the ceiling like ornaments, and so this is our, uh, our squat rack ornament. It's pretty cool. Then one last thing. This is kind of like organization city. As you can see, we've started to organize things by all the different parts because we're starting to get a lot of them and we want to do more roundups on them. And then this is kind of like staging area for shipping products and everything like that. Um, and then a lot of just like heavy weight plates. So weight plates, dumbbells, all that sort of thing back there. So I have no idea what you're saying right now because I just see Nathan, uh, but I would love to hear uh, what do you think of the facility? I think it's pretty sick, but you let me know. All right, let's talk about some Black Friday stuff and then answer your questions. Okay. Let's go through some Black Friday stuff. I see some of your questions. If you have specific questions on Black Friday deals, let me know and our team will basically bring it over so I can see it. Um, but I'll start talking through some of them. A big one is obviously Rep Fitness. Rep Fitness has been doing a bench week. I can't reveal what they're getting ready to release. I think they actually release it in about 45 minutes. They'll be releasing a new deal. I will say if you've got a big cart that you wanna fill, you wanna build a bigger gym, I would wait for it because it's actually gonna be a pretty good deal. It depends how much you're spending, but if you're wanting to buy a bunch of stuff from them, I would wait, unless you just want a bench because the bench deal they have right now, 10% off, is gonna be their best. Then another one, Bells of Steel. I wanna call Be Bells of Steel specifically their SS3. I mentioned this in a previous video, but the SS3, their safety squat bar, 250 bucks. That thing is money. I would definitely check that one out. I've also seen a couple questions about JFlex specifically. So I've got kind of our list here. If you want to see all of these in the flesh, go to our website. They're all gonna be there. Um, also, I just say this in every video for transparency's sake. If you purchase through those links, the companies will pay us a small commission. It doesn't increase how much you pay, but it does support us. So if you wanna support us, please go through the links. If you don't wanna support the, us, obviously you can go through other links, but recognize like we produce this content in part because we're able to because you guys go through our link. So thank you for doing so. But JFlex specifically, I, what I have on my list, they have 20% off plus free shipping and that should work on all their stuff. So you use the code Black Friday. Uh, then Titan Fitness, they're doing door buster deals, which is like random deals. Right now they have one on their plate loaded lap pull down that I think is like a hundred bucks off. It is the cheapest I've seen for that in a while. We've done a full review on it. If you're looking for a budget friendly, lat pull down, that's the one I'd probably go with. Although there's some companies I know that are coming out with some too, um, pretty soon. But that one, GGR5, supposedly gets you an additional 5% off. You can let me know in the comments if that don't work. Another one that I did want to call out is Snowed. Okay, adjustable dumbbells are king, which by the way, I need to bring up an adjustable dumbbell just to have it. Adjustable dumbbells are king, these are my I mean, these things are amazing. These are from Pepin. They don't have a deal on these. But there are many companies that have deals on adjustable dumbbells. One that's happening right now is Snowed, and they have the most confusing sale in the entire world, which is extremely annoying. It's like, just give me the, so they've got like, they're like nuclear codes figuring out how to use these. But the codes are, these are the codes, okay? The codes are, <laughs> you gotta get my nuclear code note out. GGR 30 for 30% off their flexible stand. GGR 20 for 20% off the 8080s and bundle and free stand. So there's four codes. L listen, I'm just gonna give you the codes. You gotta figure out which ones work the best for this, your setup. I will say if you're just ordering 8080s, the only way to get those cheaper without a stand is with our code GGR20, at least that I've seen, and that gives you 20 bucks off. If you want the stand, you can also do a free stand, so you might as well do that because you can get the single leg stand, the dumbbells, if you type in free stand and GGR20, and you'll get 20 bucks off plus the free stand. And I know there's other ones that, like, 
Add the other ones too, figure out which combination works, but those are the codes, okay? So I, it's so annoying, but that's what we've been told from them. These are the codes, so. Another one is SmartFit. SmartFit is offering 185 bucks off if you, you, if you buy their stand. Basically, they're giving you a free stand. A lot of companies are doing that now. You basically get a free stand with the new bells, which if you're gonna buy new bells, that's, this is gonna be the time to buy them. They're not gonna be cheaper than that for the 80 pound set with the free stand. I will say, I do like Newell Bells. Like, talked about this for a long time, but I don't know if they're the king anymore. I wanna do a new video, but yeah. All right, I got a few questions here. Coop, what's your favorite mustache groomer? Uh, I, don't, I don't groom this at all. I just trim it every, every once in a while. Sometimes I'll just start chewing it. So I have nothing for you on that. Also, will you test the Rogue Woodway treadmill? I would really like to test that, I would. I, I think that was a cool partnership. I haven't heard anybody talk about it, but I really like non-motorized treadmills, but I haven't used it yet. Um, thankful for the GGR team. Coop, I picked up the Torque Tank MX. Nice, that's what I have in my garage. That thing is sick. One thing I would suggest is get the, they've got this like single swivel wheel that you can put on the bottom and jack up so you can move it very easily. Highly suggest that, and it's very cheap to add. Um, but yeah, 10% off with a GGR code. Our code is GGR10, which gives you an additional 10% off. And it, they've told us there is not a bigger code out there. So I suggest using that, especially on the torque tanks, because those things are money. Okay, another one, Flybird. Flybird is doing 40% off. They do 35% off on their site. Basically for an additional 5% off, for a total of 40% off from Flybird, use GGR40. I price matched what's on there versus Amazon because sometimes they'll be like, Amazon will actually be cheaper. It's not. If you use the code GGR40, it'll actually be cheaper from their site. So if you want any of their stuff, I mean, it's more budget oriented stuff. If you're lifting really heavy, I don't suggest it. But if you're starting a home gym, doing cheaper, I would look at those. Need to get that out of my way. Okay, another one, the Shogun Sports Nord X. I freaking love that thing. I just used it yesterday. I use it every lower bar body day, both for back extensions and Nordic curls. I freaking love that thing. It's awesome. But they're doing 15% off. This is the best price I've seen outside of their pre-order price, which they no longer do. But that is... GGR15. GGR15 gets you 15% off, and that includes the Nordex. Haven't used anything else from them other than the sled, which the sled I actually really like, but it's not quiet. So if you want a non-quiet sled, it's one I'd recommend. But GGR15 gets you 15% off. Okay, have you tested the Mad Spotter Hooks? I have not tested that brand. I'd like to test them. I've tested other brands that are like them. I know exactly what they are. Um, Actually, I have used those. I have used those. I've never had them in-house, but I used them at a show, I think, one time. Um, yeah, I like them. I think for the price, if you're... The problem with some of that stuff is just the setup time. If you're willing to take the setup time with basically setting your bench up, the mad spotter hooks, for those that don't know, they wrap around a dumbbell, and then they have these wire hooks, essentially, that you can then wrap around a barbell to set them up and bring them down. I think they're a good idea. It's just personally, I don't do heavy enough like dumbbell bench where I feel like I really need a spotter, where I more just use a barbell for really heavy lifts. So, but if you're using a lot of heavy dumbbells alone, I think it's a great idea. So yeah. Um, what would you recommend for a power rack that has a ton of attachments, lever arms and pull downs especially? I mean, reps the name of the game right now in that. Their lever arms are eh, they're not that great. Honestly, there's not a ton of great lever arms out right now, I feel like. Like even you buy like the Rogues, you gotta buy all the attachments to make them work. They're so expensive. Griffins, supposedly, which by the way, speaking of that, I can call out Griffin. Um, Griffin is doing a sale. Okay, so they have sale overall, but you can get an additional 5% off. But wait, there's more! You can get an additional 5% off for GGR5. That will give you an additional 5% off all of what already is in the cart. I do suggest using that because that's gonna, they actually have some good deals. I was actually looking, there was one specifically that I wanted to call out. Oh, they're kettlebells, which they're gonna sell it pretty quick after I say this because they don't have a ton left, but they have free shipping on their kettlebells and they still have the 28 kilos, the 32 kilos or 70 pounds, 62 pounds, and some of the lighter ones as well for super cheap. Almost, I mean, they're nearing, they're a little bit over a buck a pound including, I mean, they're, that's a good deal. Plus you do the 5% off. So if you're, those are ones I'd look at, but speaking of lever arms, 
their, their lever arms, I want to get in. They look pretty nice. They have a lot of stuff built in, but the ones I'm really looking forward to are PRX. When we did that video, you guys can check it out. We did a walk through their facility. They're coming out with jammer arms that adjust side to side, lock in, but also have the ability to attach cables to for a free motion type device. Ooh! They're sick. They're heavy, but man, I, I love those things. Those things are really sweet. So I'm excited to get those in. Speaking of PRX, I can call them out. PRX is doing, well, they were doing 10% off their benches. Right now they're doing up to 20%. I, I love when companies say up to. <laughs> up to 20% off and 5% off benches, which means they're probably doing 20% off off their, yeah, they are. 20% off their fold-in one rack, which is their base cheaper rack. The really pro rack is 8% off. Which is, I mean, they're making this stuff in the USA. It's very nice. So their shipping isn't huge. But the one rack they are doing a 10% off. If you can stomach the price, this thing is sick. The profile folding full cage, like best folding, best, this is a very niche category, but the best folding fold cage wall mounted squat rack in the world is that one. Better than Rogue's. I mean, the, the bracket system, that thing is sick, and they're doing 10% off. I don't know how many people want a rack like that, but if you want something that's as solid as your house, that's the rack. That thing is, that thing is nice. Okay, another one that a company's doing is the Freak Athlete. They're doing their Nordic Hyper. Really like the Nordic Hyper for those that are in a budget. Like They're trying to do a lot in one space. I, I really like what they've done with that. Um, we did a full review on it, but they're doing 350 bucks off or 400 bucks off after using the discount code GGR. So if you use the GGR code, you get an additional 50 bucks off. I love these. I love, I love that we have exclusive deals. It's so fun. It's like gifts, gifts to you. Another one, PowerBlock. They're doing 15% off site-wide. Supposedly, they're gonna be having some doorbuster deals on some of their dumbbells, so I'd be watching for that. Oh, Rep Quick Draws. Somebody asked, we need a deal on Rep Quick Draws. Actually, they're actually in the other studio. I really like the Quick Draws. But what I'll say, they're not doing a deal that I've seen. Maybe they'll have one in the future. I haven't seen anything about it. But one thing that they may do in the future is it may be included in some deals if you buy some other stuff. So I can't say what it is, but I'd be watching out for those because you may be able to do them. Uh, let's see. Any Black Friday deals on Juggernaut? Yes, we actually do. Let me see here. I have a list here with everything. Okay, if you use the code Garage Gym, you get 10% off. So use the code garage gym. You'll get 10% off. I don't, I don't think that's just first month. I think that's just the life of the life of your subscription. So if you want to use AI to help you get bigger and stronger, use that one. Okay, what other questions do we have? Best deal for all around budget barbell. Definitely not the Force USA bar that's thrown in for free. Sorry, Force USA. You keep catching strays, but Man, that hex nut barbell, I just, I just wish you would have thrown another bar. The, uh, this one, a budget barbell. Tight, if, depends how cheap you want to go. Titan and Rep are both going to have like decent budget barbells. I don't love the Amazon barbells of the world, like the really, really cheap ones. That's not saying everything you'd buy from Amazon that's a barbell wouldn't be good. There's some Xmark and some brands like that. But... Man, one company that I would probably look at for this is, um, man, I got to think of the company's name. What's the, guys, what's the budget barbell? The, oh, Living Fit. Living Fit. Living Fit has a budget barbell that's actually a really good bar for really cheap, uh, but they don't have a sale on it. So, sorry. Yeah. It's 200 bucks. Let me see if we have an exclusive code for them. No, we don't. Sorry. Yeah, that's where I would go. Bells of Steel has deals on their barbells right now. Honestly, their power bar, their budget power bar, which is a bare steel bar, that would probably be one I'd recommend too, depending on what kind of list you're doing. Uh, let's see here. Good deals on leg press hack squat combos. So there's basically two companies I'd look at for this right now. Um, we have some others coming in that I want to review. I'd look at Titan, and then I'd look at Force USA. Both of those are pretty good. Um, also, with that in mind, PowerTech, I know, has 20% off deals right now, too, and they include some of those type of machines. But Titan and Force USA both have those options, and they're offering 
they're offering different prices on them th that's lower than normal. Uh, so those are ones I'd look at. Let's see here. Pump for Nike reviews. Just wondering why you like garage gyms more than basement gyms. I have a basement gym. I like basement gyms. I just like giving basement brand and my friend uh, crap. I like basement. I like, I mean, my parents have a basement gym. The reason I like a garage gym is one, because I've always had one. Two, it's what my parent, my dad had growing up. Three, because I like opening the doors and my kids are always out there with me. So if they're out there, like I like opening the door so they can go outside and actually play while I'm lifting so they're not under the bar and stuff. So I don't have anything against basement gyms. I just think garage gyms are superior. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, the Iron Master bench. Okay, so deal on the Iron Master. Let's see what if we have any exclusives with Iron Master. This is where all the companies are like, man, I knew we should have done the exclusive deal with Coop. Let's see. Iron Master. The, I use that bench this morning, by the way. Use that bench all the time. It's one of my favorite benches. But they actually have 100 bucks off right now. So it retails at $499. It's now $399 for the Superbench Pro version 2, the V2. So if you're going to buy it, that's now's the time to buy it. And that bench is awesome. I've sent them some feedback on things that I'd still like to see improved on it. I hope they do it in the future, things like the vinyl and the foam. But... I mean, although the, although the quality fit and finish isn't all the way there for that price, it's pretty darn good. All right, what do we have? <laughs> Man, you've got to quit ordering so much stuff. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thank You're you. Welcome, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, that's a real UPS guy. Thanks, bro. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, thank you, Phil. Yeah. You guys, saw, you guys just saw Phil in the flesh. Man. That was hilarious. I hope we gave him a tip or something. <laughs> Give him some dumbbells. Okay, what other questions do we have? Sam, did you plan that? That was awesome. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah. Get out of here, Phil. Uh, is the Rep AB5200 worth the extra $100 over their new Titan bench? Man, this one's hard. The, this is what I'd say. The only, the reason I would buy the AB5200 over the new Titan bench is because you want the decline option. So if you're gonna use that decline option with the post, because I, I think that was really smart of rep to add to the 2.0, I would get it. But if you're not going to, that rep bench is, or that Titan bench, I mean, that's the best thing Titans come out with. I mean, that thing for the price, I mean, that thing is so freaking good. So solid with the welded gusset. Honestly, that, I've dogged on Titan a lot. I mean, that bench for the price is like value king. That thing is so good. The only thing that reps got on them with that bench though, in my opinion, is the decline. And I know a lot of people like to decline. So if you like to decline, you need to get the other, you need to get rep bench. But if you don't, I'd go with Titan. 450 bucks, use the code GGR for an extra 5% off. <laughs> That's nice. That's a, I like that one. Okay. Is the Black Friday Assault Runner Pro $200 discount a good deal? No. Or wait, let me think here. The Assault Runner, I get these confused because they always, they switch names on me. So Assault Runner, they have the Pro and the Elite. The Pro is the one you want because it's the same as the Elite pretty much, but it has, it's a lot cheaper. I mean, yeah, that's probably the best price you'll be able to get. The two things from Assault though that I want to call out that I think are just free, they're like great deals is the, um, let's see here, the Pro X bike for $599, which is $300 off, that bike with the belt drive, if you're looking for an air bike right now, that's what I would get. I would get that over the Echo for the price that it is right now. That bike is money. In fact, it's so good, our videographer took it from the gym. I'll just find, by the way, we just, like, there'll just be equipment, like, we'll come in, we'll be like, yeah, where is, it's just gone. It's because our people love equipment. You should see our people's garage gyms. We want to do some walkthroughs of them. It is awesome. Like, this is the best place to work. Okay, then you got the Pro Rower. This is another one from Assault I'd recommend. 599 bucks is the sale price. Um, that thing is usually like 1000 bucks. Yeah, it is. It's, it's 400 bucks off. So at that price, like, I would probably, man, for a lot of people, I'd actually recommend that for that price over the C2 because it's so cheap. I mean, that thing is... That thing's money. I like that. Okay. Best rack to buy on Black Friday. Uh, 
Rep is killing it. I mean, they've got the, the ecosystem that they're just building out. I freaking love that thing. Uh, Force USA, if you want an all-in-one with a Smith machine. Rogue, if you want Made in America. Um, Bells of Steel has their Hydra Rack, which they've got sales on it. It's just so confusing sometimes with their checkout pages. It's just hard to figure out what's on sale and what's not and what the cart price will be at the end. But that's one, too, that I'd look at. Do you recommend buying the Tonal new or used, and should I pay for the subscription? Is it worth it? Okay, a couple things on Tonal. I, I like Tonal. I, I've become more and more in love with Vitruvian, though. I've got one right here because um, I never keep it more than five feet away. <laughs> no, I do. But I do like Vitruvian. Uh, I've been using it more. If you're lifting heavy, that's what I'd go with. And I'm really hoping they teased like this rack one time on Instagram like a while ago. Vitruvian freaking come out with a rack. I want a rack integrated with that so bad. So you do lap pull downs, squat rack with like actually racking the bar. I, I'm, I'm really hoping for that. But uh, I don't think I'd buy a tonal used. And the reason it, like we've had issues with tonal. Like we actually have one, like, like I've been, I'd love to hear an update on this actually. We've got a tonal over here that has one of the cords broken and the cord has been broken for like how long? Six months? Six months. Yeah. The fix order has been canceled twice. So like, it's just like, come on, which is one of the annoying things with some of this stuff. So I personally, like I would not buy that used. I'd buy that new and I have them white glove install it so nothing messes up. But I will say I haven't had those issues with Vitruvian and I've used Vitruvian more. So just shouting that out. I will say though for Tonal, after I just gave that glowing review. <laughs> I mean, you've seen my other views of Tonal. I love Tonal. I think for somebody that's just getting into working out and like wants to have training follow, like it's amazing. The tech is amazing. Just we've had issues with the fix. So we also put a lot more stress on our equipment. that's true. We do put more stress on it than most people. And I do have, we have two. I have one at my house actually, and I've never had an issue with it, even though I've moved it multiple times. So they're doing 500 bucks off. And if you'd like an additional 200 bucks off, GGRP423BFM, man. I love these just memorable, memorable discount codes. Use that. Vitruvian isn't doing a code that I've seen off of their unit. Maybe let me check this morning to see if that's changed. But they are doing 500, or they are doing half off their pro accessory kit. Yeah, that's all they're doing, which I'll show you real quick. This is the pro accessory kit. As you can see, it's all together. <laughs> this thing is sick, so you can do in incline. I, I really like this thing, but they're doing half off of this. Um, if I was going to buy a smart, smart gym tech for myself, <laughs> ah! <laughs> that's the one I would buy. Yeah, that thing is sweet. Now i got to put all that together. I hope it didn't break. No, it didn't break. Okay. <laughs> I actually really like that. I don't, I'll use that. Okay, let's give some more. Uh, oh, PRX and... Rep are watching. Shout them out, it says. Shout you out. Thanks for watching, guys. I want to come to Colorado and North Dakota again. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for, thanks for offering good deals. And thanks for joining us. Other companies should do that, too. Uh, how important are supplements? If so, what ones should I be focusing on? Okay, so one thing I will say on supplements, if you want to find deals on supplements, we actually have on the site a full page of deals. Um, so if you'd like to see some of those, you can see them. We do have a lot of exclusives that you can only get through us, just like with equipment now on supplements. I mean, they're, oh my goodness. I haven't looked at this in a while. We have a lot of supplement deals, okay? So if you'd like to purchase supplements, you can start. The ones that like, you're like, which ones are good? I, I mean, I'm just gonna give some base recommendations here because you can really start going down the rabbit hole. I really like creatine. Creatine is great. I use BCAAs and EAAs, protein powders. Those are things that I'd start with. If you're just looking for the basics, creatine and protein powder, like whey protein, those are ones that I'd look at. And then as you can add on more. Um, I see somebody asking about the Titan Moby Dick Power Bar. Uh, I haven't used the Moby Dick. I will say it looks really cool. The end cap was really well done. I think like, I feel, I've, give, I've gotten this feeling from Titan. They're just like, they're, they're improving, they are. Um, and so I think that was, a, that was cool. I think that was a cool release. Is it a, you're not buying that bar because it's the best in the world. If you're just looking spec for spec, Rogue Bar is definitely better. But 
that's a cool bar. You don't just buy, buy a barbell because it works. Like people buy equipment too because it looks cool. Um, and that one looks really cool. It also has like that, they call it titanium. It's not titanium. It's like a gold titanium sleeve where it's gonna, la it's very hard. It's gonna last a long time. We have some other bars with it. I think that's pretty cool. Sup, Cade Green. I just saw that, that's sweet. PRX Performance just said, 8% is the biggest discount we offer on our profile racks. So there you go, you heard it from the horse's mouth. Except that's not really true. <laughs> and I'll say why. If you go to their site, the profile, pro, the profile folding full cage is 10% off. So, and the, the fold in one rack, that's not a profile rack, 20% off. So up to 10% off. Um, is the Iron Neck Pro worth the extra 150 bucks over the base price? No, I actually used Iron Neck this morning, if you can tell. But no, it's not worth it. I don't think so. I like the gearing. I actually have a review on that coming out. You'll see it where I deep dive. But I like some of the gearing. I like the functionality, but it can be improved. It, it's too rough. But to pay the extra over the other one, I probably wouldn't do it. I just get the other one, and then I in instead of paying 150 bucks extra, I'd buy one of their neck harnesses, the Alpha neck harness, so you can get actual lifting too. That's what I would do. Um, let's see here. Uh, what's the best deal on a good multi-grip bar? So the one I, man, I love Kabuki Strengths. The, the one I use is the Cadillac bar. Rogue has theirs, and they came out with their MG grip bar with the removable handles, and they updated it which is cool, and they've had some deals on it. The deals, it seems like it's gone away. Um, the thin one, that's the good one. Don't buy the wide one, which I don't even know if they're going to make that anymore. It seems like they're removing that, which I think is a good idea. But th there is a company that a copy, I'm just going to be honest, they copied the Cadillac bar, and that is Fringe Sport. If the Fringe Sport, let me see here. Fringe Sport, uh, let me see if I just type in multi grip bar. I don't even know what the name of it is. There it is. Multi-grip Swiss barbell is a pretty much carbon copy. It's not as good as the Cadillac bar. There's like they've they've cut some corners versus the Made in the USA Cadillac bar. But for 225 bucks, Yowza! That's a good one. That is a good deal. And actually, let me see if we have any exclusives with them where you can add on. No, we don't. Which that's very unfortunate. Pete Keller from Fringe Sport. You need to up your game. <laughs> but 225 bucks for that bar with free shipping, like that's the multi grip bar I'd get. It does have Neuralink on the handles. If you want the really good one, go with the Cadillac. That's one I use. I love that thing. But if you want the cheaper one, go with that one. Pepin is not having any sales that I've seen. In fact, I think Pepin has such a hard time keeping stuff in, you know, because they're such a small manufacturer. Like it would just ruin them to offer deals. And yeah, no deals. Prime Fitness. Prime Fitness doing any deals. I don't have any exclusives with Prime Fitness. I do like Prime Fitness mag handles. I think those things are great. Actually, they're not mag handles. <laughs> they're the rotate handles. They're kind of like mag handles, but I haven't seen any deals from them. A lot of those smaller manufacturers, they're just trying to keep up, so they can't really do it. Um, will you be visiting Titan Fitness Warehouse next year? I'd like to. Supposedly, they've made a lot of updates. I'd love to see it, see their new gym, see any new equipment they're coming out. It's not a long flight from Springfield to Memphis, Tennessee which is, dude, their barbecue is good. Not as good as KC barbecue, but it's good. Um, so I'm definitely down. Off topic, but what is that watch that you're wearing? This is a Unimatic. Every, for each kid that I have, I buy a new watch, and these are ones that I'm passing down. Um, I've got, so far, an Omega Seamaster and a Unimatic. This one is actually not crazy priced. I, I, I like this one a lot. Um, looking to purchase a pair of 100-pound dumbbells, what do you recommend? Uh, definitely not a Leiko... Uh, Evo dumbbells, they're so thick, like they're great for pressing, but pulling, that's what I've got in my garage. Man, for 100 pounds, you just want 100 pounds. I really like the rep straight grips. I like the straight grip, personally. Some people like the, the, you know, the more traditional grip. So if you want a more traditional grip, they're pretty much all gonna be the same. Just find the cheapest ones, and often the cheapest ones are from like Titan when you get them on sale. So that's what I'd look for. But if you want a 100 pound dumbbell with a straight handle, just like you would with a barbell, I'd go with those. Uh, treadmill Black Friday deals. Need, need a sole treadmill deal. Okay, here's a couple deals on treadmills specifically. Uh, we've got Nordic Track. Basically, if you're gonna add one to your home gym, the companies for like home gym use that you'll probably be looking at are companies like Soul, R, Nordic Track, Proform, 
companies of that sort, Sunny Health and Fitness. So for Nordic Track, we don't have any exclusive code, but they're doing up to $500 off and free assembly on certain stuff. Um, the one that like a lot of people like is the commercial 1750, which they're doing $300 off that one, or the commercial X32i doing 500 bucks off that one. Another one from Seoul, they're doing up to 200 bucks off both their ellipticals or actually all three, the ellipticals, bikes, and their treadmills. I'd look between those two companies. If you want like our full breakdown, I've done a video on my favorite treadmills. I need to update that probably here in the new year because new models come out all the time. You can also check out the other channel, GGR Everything, where Lindsay goes through all those. Also, if you go to the website, if you just want to see things updated from our team that has tested things and giving recommendations, you can do so there too. So I would check out the website to see which ones they recommend there before buying. But Nordic Track and Soul are both offering deals. What safety squat bar would you get today? Titan Rep, Bells of Steel. I did, I'd probably go Bells of Steel for the price. I like Rep's handles. If, if money, you know, if you're just, you don't care, you just w want the best between those three, I'd probably go Rep because I really like the knurled handles and it's just the fit and finish is really nice. But Bells of Steel does have Olympic sleeves that, that rotate. Now, companies like Elite FTS say they purposefully made it so it wouldn't rotate because it makes it harder. I don't know if I believe that <laughs> personally. I don't know if that's a thing, but uh, I, they do they do rotate. They the the bells of steel do rotate. Nice pad, and you can have adjustable grips. I like those. Major Lu Major Fitness, hundred bucks. I gotta call them out. Sweet Major Major Ludi actually has deal. They're not Major Ludi anymore. Major Fitness, which I think is a good ch change. What the freak is Major Ludi, anyways? Uh, but they're doing. Right now they're doing sales off of their racks if you go to their site. So if you go through, we have all the deals right now listed on our site through for Major Fitness. But if you go, let's see what we have. Up to 850 bucks off products, including Home Gym, Smith Machines, Power Rack, and their adjustable bench. Um, we don't have any exclusives with them, but if you're looking for, we've done a, a review on their rack that includes the, I think it included, we've done one on both the lap pull down and the functional trainer. If you're looking for an all in one at more of a budget friendly price, now it's gonna be the time to buy them. And they're doing free shipping. Do you have some suggestions for setting up a rack and lifting on a sloped garage floor? Yes, what I would recommend, uh, there's a guy named um, Greg Everett, who from Catalyst Athletics, who built a basically a platform and has plans on a platform that adjust for the slope, that's what I would suggest doing. I've actually seen Alan Thrall from Un Untamed Strength. He's done something similar. I think that's a great idea. What I do is I just don't worry about it and I just lift basically forward or backward, never to the side, um, and it's not a big deal. But if you just want it to be perfectly flat, that's a way to do it. Thoughts on the rep? 4,000 Athena adjustable dumbbells plus bars and plates as a home gym foundation. I plan on getting, man, I haven't lifted in six years. Nice, okay, see I love, I love this kind of thing. When people are starting a home gym, they haven't lifted. A lot of times people stop lifting because they have kids or just life gets away and a home gym is a way that they can do that. I, I love this. So you're looking at a lot there, like Rep 4000, Athena, adjustable dumbbells, bars, plate, you're doing a lot. What I would say is I would wait like 15 minutes, <laughs> probably I'd wait about 15 minutes and then I would purchase because I think for, if you're gonna buy all that stuff, you're gonna get a better price. Um, I would personally would go with the 5,000 rack series. I think it, it just, I think the attachments are gonna be better overall. You're gonna be more accessible from other companies. I, I just like the, I like the one inch. I think the one inch is better and I think it's worth the extra cost. If you want to get a little bit cheaper, 4,000 is fine, but I just think you have more optionality with the 5,000 series, so I would say that, especially if you're getting the Athena. I would also get the lat pull down attachment. So I'd get the Athena and then I'd get plate loaded or the, the stack option for the center mount lat pull down, which is exactly what I have back here. I do like that. I think I like that better than the Aries. I think that is just awesome. There's so much you can do with it. With the bars, if you're gonna go through rep, get the Colorado bar if you want a basic bar or their double black diamond if you want a power bar, sick bar. And then plates, I mean, depends what kind of plates you want. Uh, they have multiple options if you're just gonna go through rep. And then future, like I, I highly recommend doing something like that. Because what's that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna keep you on a track where you're actually lifting and you have somebody to keep accountable to. I think that's great. So good on you. Let me know in six months if you're still doing it. I'd love to, I'd love to see the setup and also see if you've stuck to it.
And I will be mad if you haven't. So <laughs> I'll be accountable to you too. Uh, finally, again, a functional trainer. Any deals on a good one? I just saw Titan does have a deal on theirs. The rep, they, are, they, are go they don't have a deal on the Arcadia, but I keep like, I don't, they've got a deal coming up in 15 minutes, okay? So just wait for 15 minutes and I would check out the Arcadia. Haven't used it yet, but I will say that's probably gonna be my recommendation because they basically took my recommendations that sucked on the FT uh, 5000, which I'm looking at right here, and they upgraded it, which I'm, I'm really glad they did. But that would probably be one I'd recommend. Um, if you want a more budget friendly, Titan has theirs on sale. Uh, which is good too. And Torque actually has their really thin one um, that we've reviewed that goes up against the wall, mounts to the wall. That's one I'd, I'd recommend too. What time are we at? We've been going a while. We've got about 13 minutes left. Okay, all right. Well, keep questions coming in. I, I can keep talking. Uh, what brand are those light? What are the lightsabers in the back, Nathan? We get asked about all those all the time. Amaran from Aperture. Amaran from Aperture. So if you want our setup kind of look like this, which I think people sometimes put these in the garage just for looks. That's what they are. Uh, somebody commented the Shogun Nord X is $100 off plus the GGR. Dude, that's pretty good. Okay, so that, it's, a bigger, it's a bigger discount than I thought. So they're, they're discounting by 100 bucks on Black Friday. This isn't how it was. Plus the GGR 15 code still stacks. So that brings it down to 765. I'm telling you, there isn't a lot of equipment that I'm just like, everyone should buy. If, if you, like the, if you like quality and you want something that's very functional, that thing is money. Coop, best half rack? I mean, it depends if you want standalone or wall mount. Um, I, Rogue's SML, Rogue's half racks are good options if you want made in the USA. Rep and Titan, again, and Bells of Steel. Um, Rep does have the SR3000, I think is what it is, which is their squat stand, um, which is a, that thing is a sweet option. Takes up a lot of space. Um, I really, I, I would just build one. I just build one from one of the companies using their, up, using like one inch hole uprights. That's the beauty with this stuff. That's what I have in my garage. So I would use something like that. Or if you want something that folds up, you can do, actually Rep's new Athena wall mounted. That thing's pretty sick. Or the PRX wall mounted rack. Titan Scratch and Dent too, yeah, yeah. Sam mentioned that, yeah. T Sam's bought some stuff from the Scratch and Dent and it almost, it's not very scratched or dented. Or had cracks. Yeah, 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 <laughs> pretty much perfect. So, yeah. Um, good leg roller rack attachment. So, uh, the best constructed one is Rogue's but the foam is not good, it's too thin. I, I use the Sornex ones but they're very expensive. Reps, I don't know if they're using their new vinyl on theirs, but that would probably be like the cost effective option. I will say Stray Dogs is pretty good too, which we had a code with Stray Dog. They gave us an exclusive. We've got it on the site, but I tried to use it and it doesn't work. So you can maybe try it, see if they update it. But GGR is supposed to save you 10% off, which should include those rollers. Um, I really like their rollers. So any of those, but probably for the price is probably going to be rep. I just hope they change out the vinyl with their older vinyl. I don't know if they've done it yet, but those are good. Um, will you be covering more smaller brands like Macaulay, Macolo, Kepi, ER King, et cetera, selling for great? Yes. I actually, the Kepi, I believe it is, which is like the fake zero gap fat pad dupe thing. I've got that actually over there, which is getting assembled and we're gonna do a review on it soon. Macolo, we've got some stuff in the works that we're gonna work with it, or work on their equipment. And then ER King too. Uh, yeah, so all those. Any recommendations you guys have on those like smaller Amazon brands, let me know in the comments and we work on them. Um, buy adjustable dumbbells today, king of adjustable dumbbells. Yeah, I, I would, oh, best buy for adjustable dumbbells. Uh, there's so many things to look at for this. I mean, if you're looking for like budget, I really like the new reps. The reps are good, but they're not really on a discount. And I don't know if they'll offer them on a discount, the quick draws. Uh, core fitness, that's one. I've got these right here. Uh, let's see if we have any exclusive with them. I don't think we do. Core home fitness is doing, okay. 
350 bucks with free shipping for a 60 pound set or 50 pound set. I really like these. Uh, yeah, they're nice. Is that running? Yeah, these are really nice. So they go from five pounds, which is just this, just like the new bells do up to 50 pounds, which is that for 350 bucks. I mean, that is hard to beat. I mean, for the price, the rep quick draws are definitely, they go heavier, but they're also a bit more expensive. New bells, same are a bit more expensive. You just want some budget. These are, I'd say up there for like the king, that title of budget. I'd say that. But also if you want new bells, new bells, I mean, new bells are just very good. If you, you just gotta be careful with them. Also, okay, yeah, plans to review the Kenzui Adjustable Max, the metal version. So I've used their plastic version, which I like for the price. I saw they came out with, I think they're aluminum, came out with their metal version. Uh, yeah, I would like to review those because the price is great on them. And honestly, I'd say Kenzui, man, there is, there's a lot of companies producing some cool stuff, but Kenzui is like a smaller brand that's doing a lot of cool stuff. Um, and just like innovating in the budget, like minimalist space. I love their stuff. So they're doing 30% off on orders of over a thousand, 25% off on orders over 300 bucks and 20% off on orders under 300 bucks. So basically if you buy anything, you're guaranteed to get at least 20% off time to buy bells of steel discount tower with weight stack. I don't have a discount specifically on the bells of steel, but I do have the, the, I'm looking at it right now. It's like way over there. We have a review that we're wanting to do on that one. Um, let me see what the price is right now. With weight, well, it is a big boy. I mean, that thing is huge. Uh, okay, now they've got it for two grand. They don't have a deal on it, and I don't have an exclusive with them. Um, on that piece specifically, so I don't have anything on that one. Hey, the Titan Fitness GGR5 code is not working. Is there criteria for the code? We've been told there isn't. That's just that. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that, that one's not working. Uh, that's the code that we have, and so it should work. Um, so reach out to Titan. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't shoot the messenger. Please, please. Okay, uh, anything else? Was well, gonna buy the Hydro Wave, but the deal on the original has increased. Is it worth it? I mean, the original deal was really good on the Hydro Wave. You should have listened to me when I said it. <laughs> but the, the, hydro, the hydro Wave is good. Um, I, I, if, you want a, if you want a connected like rower, that's the one to get. That thing is awesome. So it just depends how long you plan to keep it. If you're gonna use it, I think the price is probably worth it. Um, and I, I like it. There's some people that like Averon better. So if you like Averon, which by the way, we do, let's see what we have with Averon. Up to 500 bucks off right now for, with free shipping. That's what I'd look at too. Are you getting anything today? Uh, I was actually thinking about buying some extra parts. I'm always like building new racks. And so I was thinking about getting some new parts from Rogue or Titan has their scratch and dent and Rogue has a scratch and dent now too, their garage sale. And so because I have like, like I was saying to somebody else, like get the PR 5,000 because you can just add all the different companies and you can do that, I guess, with the um, five H inch stuff too. It's just harder. I may get some extra parts to build out my rack bigger because <laughs> it must be bigger. Any good cheap alternative to the plate from the Hamby system? I will say the plate from the Hamby system is the best plate, like bar none, the one that I've used, that's, that's the best. It's better, better than X3. The problem with those is they have to be really strong because you're putting a lot of force against them. So I don't know of a cheaper alternative. Honestly, if you're using that and you're gonna use it for a long time, I just buy the plate from Harambi. Like Harambi does have sale. And actually, let me look here. I think we have something with them. So GGR gets you 10% off and I think it's supposed to stack. So I think it's supposed to stack. Also, I see people shouting out Iron Master, 20% off right now. So if you're buying like dumbbells or their bench, yeah. Now's the time to buy from Iron Master. Um, but the other one I'd say is X3 too. X3 is also doing, I think 150 bucks off their, off their bar if you want like that band system. Okay, we're coming up on the end. I need some more turkey. 
I need some more turkey. I, I'm Sam saying keep going. I, I'm like a slave. He's a slave driver over Give here. Five more minutes. Five, have you seen any sauna deals? Sauna deals. I already did 55 minutes. Uh, yes, actually, we do have some. One, Redwood Saunas doing up to 800 bucks on saunas and their cold plunges. Sun Home Saunas, 700 bucks off on their saunas. Um, I think Plunge was doing something. Plunge, up to $1,000 off their plunge. They're selling saunas now, but I think they're on pre-order, so they're not doing anything about them. Uh, or I, th I don't think they're doing any sales on them. Um, but if you go to the site, we have a full section on Black Friday deals on recovery tools where you can check those out. They're all there. Um, so those are basically going to be all the sales that are available. But those are the Sun Home Saunas is one I'd look at and Red Home, Red, Redwood Saunas. Let me see if we have any exclusives. GGR 15 with plunge gets you 15% off. It says it stacks, but based upon the accuracy um, that has happened in the past, I don't know, but I'd try it. GGR 15 supposedly should, should work. Uh, I need that set up behind you. What's rep doing? That's the PR 5000. It's nice. Coop squat or rep Athena? Uh, I mean, I still have the coop squat for a reason. Now, I do also have a functional trainer, but I use the, the Rhino belt squat setup probably every workout. Like, I have a hard time thinking how I'm going to replace it. I use that thing all the time. I, I still think it's a very underrated setup. Um, so, yeah. All right, I'll close with this. We're talking about a lot of gym equipment. We're talking about building your gym, but there's a, there's a few things I want to say. One, you can buy all the gym equipment in the world, but if you don't use it, it's not going to work. Okay, this isn't like one. Of, this is very much like books. You can have an amazing library, but if you never read them, you're never going to increase in knowledge. If you never lift the stuff, if you never do the cardio, if you never put in time, you're not actually going to improve. So use your equipment. <laughs> like I don't, I don't even know why I have to say that, but get out there and use it. If you're thinking about buying something, maybe use the stuff you've got already. If, you, if buying the thing is actually going to help you use it, get out and use it. But that's, that's our biggest thing. Like, I want people to use the equipment. Yeah, we benefit through you buying it, through using our, our codes and our links. But, man, I don't want you buying stuff that you're just hanging clothes on. Get out there and get after it. You just had some great carbs. Your glycogen is filled from yesterday. Now go expend some energy. Get it done. And build your home gym, right? For you parents that are out there, Get out there and show your kids what it means to work hard. <laughs> like that's something that we need in society right now is we need parents that are showing their kids what hard work looks like. Let's do it. Like go out there. That's what I did this morning. I had all my, four of my kids out there watching me train. And it's a beautiful thing. I love it. So get out there. Um, and also just enjoy your gyms. Man, it is fun that we can have garage gyms, home gyms. What a blessing it is. Okay. This has been Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Thank you all for joining. I'm very thankful for you. I'm thankful for our community. Let's keep building. We'll see you next time. Peace.